first story that broke this week was Alcatel Lucent Enterprise partnering with Ring Central. I saw that you both wrote about that on No Jitter. Zeus, did you see that one coming? It does make some sense. So if I were to say, I come on, Zeus, you didn't see that one coming. I, 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 there was no indication whatsoever. I think the folks at Alcatel Lucent Enterprise were surprised by this one. I think they had to do something, though. You know, I think we're running out of legacy. Uh, uh, telecom companies for Ring Central to go after. Yeah. So I think the growth opportunity for Ring Central now will be uh, service providers and carriers around the world. So one question that I have is what happens with Rainbow? Longer term, I think the vision is for Rainbow to become much more focused on CPaaS and um, uh, IoT services. You know, Rainbow is not a super well-known brand, and I think its association with Ring can actually help raise its profile. Do you guys have any thoughts on the Avaya OneCloud branding changes? Look at the different branding they had with IX and Ready Now, and uh, even before that. It was way too complicated. They, yeah. Not only no, did they have did. too many names before, but they had uh, the, the names didn't make sense. There was no connect relationship between them. Genesis made a multi-cloud announcement. Do you guys have any thoughts on that? A lot of companies have very strict preferences about where they want their applications to be running. And now Genesis, I think, is probably the first that could really say it doesn't matter. What uh, Genesis can do is allow their customers to deploy their infrastructure across all these different cloud platforms, but have it look like one cloud. I think that's 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 pretty significant. It's pretty sophisticated. I... Virtual Enterprise Connect 2020, thumbs up or down? I'm missing that social capital, that those, 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 that, those in-between, conversations and uh, that, that are so important in an event like that that are not be that are not occurring in a virtual event i'll give them enterprise connect a big thumbs up because i think they did a as good a job as they could trying to shift the medium from live to virtual but it still wasn't the same but i'd like to see them incorporate some of those uh some of those capabilities into the live event uh, whenever it comes back i'm kathleen lassiter and we'll be back next week with what we heard